So welcome to the step eight, which is the translatable text. So in this text, what we will do, we can translate any language. So for example, uh, now we can see that the button text, which is the say hello, and is the fixed. I mean that um, this is the fixed in that text so now actually if you want like to uh, the translate to other languages for example um, if you want to change like from english to french to that button text then it is not easy in in this way so that is the reason what we will do we will centralize this all text which is called that i18n and here you can change everything and it will reflect all ui interface so in that process actually that is called the translatable text and for this translatable text we always use that i18 n so for this purpose we have to create a new folder inside that web app so this folder is i18 n and inside i18 and we have to create a new um, uh, file that is called that i18 and properties so let's create that i18 and dot properties inside that properties you have to um, send a variable and the value for example show hello button text it just a variable for this button and if we say like say hello from here so now what we have to do we have to load this resource or i properties functionality we have to load so actually that is the f uh, view and f for the app view that is the controller is app controller so here what we have to do that is um, called the uh, resource model is already there but it's just a uh, sap ui model resource then resource model then you have to um, use this resource model to use this function and here if you already find this um, parameter then actually you have to um, in uh, on initialize function actually it will call when the view load so here we have to just like here we have to set model on view i mean that here we will set the model so that it will uh, show in the view so here we have to call a variable then i18 and uh, model that is the name of the variable and new resource model what we have created so here what we can do bundle name so bundle name we have to show the location where we have that properties so we have created that properties that is sap ui if i go there like for example that is our namespace so we can use the same namespace 
here then we have to go to that i18n then actually i18n properties so we can use just i18n so that is the locations where we keep that now we have to use in that view this dot get view dot set set model um, this model is the i18n model and we have to use this i and so now if we refresh so now it's the same you can see but it just load the uh, model here so now if we go to that um, XML folder I mean XML file then here actually you have to replace this name like here and in that uh, actually it is from that i18n so now refresh this so now you can see that actually it is coming from these properties so if whatever you say like hi so it will automatically change the hi so it's the same way uh, if you use like for example if you use the um, other text or something like that it will be automatically change and you can use the different language here and it will automatically change so basically things is that uh, if you want to use the um, translatable text then first you have to create a new file which called the i18n properties and it should be web app then i18n and that is the central file where you can write everything after that you have to load this i18n properties so this is the load i mean that where you can store everything and once it is load then actually you can use this anywhere so now actually we use in that um text so it is coming from another source there's the reason it is it is inside that uh, curly brackets so that's all let's continue with the component configuration in the next video thank you so much